Well, pleased to be joined once again on Halton News by the co-founder of Mabel's Labels, a parenting blogger and mom of six, Julie Cole for Parenting Pulse. Good afternoon, Julie. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us once again. And we got a very, very uh, topical topic today, fresh off the Olympics. Let's chat parenting in sports because, you know, from personal experience as uh, being parented, as the son in sports, sometimes parents get a little carried away. Well, you know, they don't say like rate the crazy from zero to hockey mom for no reason, <laughs> right? Like, we've all seen it. Yeah, I mean, the whole Olympic thing, there's so many lessons to be learned from it. And for me, like as a parent, um, and you just hear people buzzing and chatting in the parenting community about, about sports parents. And I mean, we've, we've all heard the stories. Some of us have witnessed it firsthand. Some of us have lived it. Um, but I have to say the one sports parent, I gotta, I gotta just quote him like from the, he's my, he's my favorite sports parent from the Olympics. And it was the dad of uh, Zoe Sadowski Sinnott. And she won the um, the medal for the uh, uh, snowboarding, and it was New Zealand, and that was their first like Winter Olympics medal, so it was a really big deal, and there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of excitement and celebration around it. And I and I loved when uh, somebody asked the father, her father, if you know she's she's done she sacrificed so much for her sport, and he said, and I quote. Um, Yes, yeah, Zoe sacrificed doing the dishes, mowing the lawns, cleaning her room, and getting the vacuum out. She sacrificed all those things. And I was just really here for that because I just love that down to earth. And yes, of course, these uh, athletes sacrifice many things, but you know, I, I love this. It was just kind of, you know, that's my kind of down to earth parenting that I really like. And, you know, it's funny um, when you see parents so involved and obviously I think it was very hard for the Olympians too because a lot of them most of them didn't have their parents there mm -hmm. like as a parent you can imagine not being there you know to, to cheer them on um just because with all the restrictions but yeah we've all had our experience I, I'd say Jason a eh? having uh you you were a hockey player in your day I I was a hockey player and I haven't had the other side of things right. being the parent but you know for you a mom of six how do you navigate competition versus fun uh, with having yeah. your kids in sports? So I had at one point six kids in hockey. And I have to tell you that we did, uh, we don't do really the rep thing for a few reasons. We have six people in hockey. I mean, you just can't with that many um, children, as I like to joke with them, they can find enough people in their own town to play with them. Um, and I mean, I think, you know, rep does offer that representative sport does offer a lot of great opportunity. There's lots of travel, there's lots of fun, but it is very expensive. And it does take up your weekends and, you know, usually like one parent's going one way with one kid one parent could be going another way with another kid. And, and it's real, it's a real lifestyle. So it's, you know, it's expensive. Um, so I, I think that if you decide not to put your kids in competitive sport, that's okay. You're not, you know, you're not being a bad mom for, for not doing that. There's lots of reasons and the kids will be okay because at the end of the day, and I see this now with my older kids whose, whose friends didn't, you know, like they were on the arena, you know, every day after school, six times a week and their parents were run ragged and spending a fortune. At the end of the day, it's not like they really end up in the NHL. Like they have a decent experience, but they end up just going away to uni and maybe playing, you know, intramurals or whatever. So I think parents can't get too invested. And um, I know even I can remember once, Jason, this was, I had a kid, a little guy, and it was like, he was eight or nine, and he was playing three on three summer house league. So, I mean, I can't think of a league that would be less competitive than three on three summer house league. And even then this dad from the other team yelled, hit him when somebody did something. And I'm like, and all these dads were yelling, hit him. I'm like, are you kidding me? They're eight. So I think it's sometimes you just have to take it all in perspective and remember why our kids are in sport. Right. And that would be for the primarily for the social aspect, for the skills that they learn with it, as opposed to, hey, we're on track to the NHL. That's right. I think you need to go into it with the right reasons and knowing your why. So for me, the why is, yeah, get these kids physically active. Um, team sports. I love the team sports. There's a great dynamic that happens. The other thing, I think it's great for kids socially to have a little group of friends outside of their school friends, just because friendships can be dynamic and, and complicated. And if things go a little, 
you know, funny with the friends at school for a bit, they can still have their friends from sport or from another activity that they do. So there's some, some real social benefits as well. But, you know, as long as you're not, you know, putting them in because you have some unfulfilled dream of your own, like try not to project that. And of course, if you have a passion, you want to share it with your kids. But here's the thing. It's got to come from the kids, right? Like, if, if you're the one who's pushing your kid and saying, let's go, we got to go, or let's do some extra lessons, let's do extra coaching, whatever, and it's not coming from them, it's never really going to work. We had family friends who all they really wanted to do, these parents, was, was do their basement. Their basement was unfinished, and they just wanted to renovate their basement but they couldn't because their little kid was down there every chance he got shooting into a practicing his puck handling and, and, and shooting into the wall. And, and they were just like, Oh, if you would just stop doing that, then we could, you know, finish our basement. That kid made it to the NHL. And that's, you know, that's the kid whose parents are like, it's got to come from the kid. If you've got a kid who's in the basement constantly or out on the, on the court or out at the school playground, and they're just doing their sport constantly, it's got to come from within. It can't come from mom and dad. Makes total sense. Julie Cole, thanks so much for doing this. We'll chat with you in a couple of weeks. You bet. 